Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. Uh, today I'm bringing you a clean with me. I kind of had to do a couple random things throughout the day, so I want to take you guys along with me. First, I wanted to start off with a load of laundry, and that was just uh, the rug or mat from my son's bathroom. Um, it is white, so thankfully I can bleach that because bathroom rugs, I feel like get pretty gross. <laughs> um, but I wanted to start with that. And if you guys want some serious cleaning motivation, definitely stay tuned. After starting the laundry, I wanted to get into my son's room. My in-laws had Finley this day. So as a mom, you know, you got to take those opportunities to get things done and my son's room is something that I don't normally do when he's home or if I do it's just a really quick clean up but I wanted to get some things out of his closet and this whole thing like turned into this biggest ordeal and it was really stressful so I didn't show every little thing of me cleaning out that closet but I did want to go through his toys donate the toys he doesn't play with and all of that and this is just more of a process of getting ready for baby number two to come here in a couple months so I wanted to get in here, give it a good mom clean, and just go through his books and all of that good stuff. So it definitely had to get done, and I was happy with how it came out. Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think. You try your best to hold up, but I see you giving in. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. Keep 
Okay, you guys, I just cleaned out. This turned into like a whole thing. <laughs> Finley's closet's been bugging me for a little while. I cleaned it a few months ago and then it just got crazy again. But I took out all of the clothes that were up there and went through them all yesterday of Finley's clothes. So now I'm doing this half of the closet and I'm gonna tackle that half of the closet in a minute. But what I think I'm gonna do is put stuff for Little Miss up there since we do still have like four months till she comes. So I don't wanna like clutter his space. But I finally put all of his art supplies in a bucket so it's harder for him to get to. Um, I've been rotating toys <clears throat> throughout. So like moving toys around his room and he's been getting into them, like playing with them the more I move them around when he hasn't played with them in a long time. So I took the TP tent that was in the corner over there and I put it away for now. Um, and I think in a couple months I'll take it back out again and he'll want to play with it again. So I'm going to do that. Lucy is like in the closet right now, but I'm going to go ahead and load um, some of the stuff we're keeping for um, little girl up there. And then, yeah, I'm going to tackle the other half. Lucy, what do you think? That sound good? <laughs> You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve It won't fade until you paint it black I let it burn, you call the fire brigade But I feel that it will come back Oh, where does it come from? 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 Oh, put that in the living room he does play with that a ton so I'm gonna swap that out into the little play nook out there this is all the garbage slash donations I'm donating some toys boxes bags stuff has to get thrown out but this is how it's shaping up and eventually this will be in the garage because it's getting nice out so we can he can actually take it for a spin <laughs> he got that for Christmas and hasn't seen it outside yet or been outside so yeah just did some organization over here with the toys and the books. Put everything where it's supposed to be. And he actually still uses that for the music at night. It's top of like a swing or bottom of a swing. So yeah, I made the bed. That's all nice and stacked over there, which I'm gonna be taking this out and putting it in our room in probably a month or two. So I'll have more room in here. But yeah, guys, this is it. Oh, that took way longer than I thought it was going to, honestly. But I'm gonna go take a coffee break and continue cleaning. So I took a little coffee break, but after that, I went into my kitchen. I just had to do the garbage, a few dishes, wipe everything down. I didn't do anything too intense in the kitchen because mo on most days, my kitchen and living room area is pretty clean. Um, I keep up with that pretty well. So I just had to do a couple things and the garbage was getting crazy. And does anyone else go through their uh, refrigerators when they take the garbage out? I feel like I always make sure there's no leftovers that need to be thrown out or something like that because it's the worst when you get a new bag in there and then you're like, oh man, <laughs> I should have thrown this out. This is gross. But anyway, yeah, so I want to do a little tidying up and get that all sorted out. Radio too loud. This could be magical. Whoa, whoa. This could be magical. Whoa, whoa.
to escape and here we are Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a bit I feel like stainless steel cleaning it is always something I neglect and I don't do on a daily so when it comes to mind I'm like yeah I should probably do that right <laughs> uh, but the kind of cleaner I'm using here is the Wyman stainless steel cleaner um, I like it I don't love it I feel like people are like rave about this but I feel like at least my stainless steel like really streaky and I know you're supposed to like polish it on and then wipe it off and go like with the grain or whatever but I don't know like it does a pretty good job I would say but I kind of want to try their wipes and see if that makes it any better but um yeah and I've heard of people using like glass cleaners and I've tried to use just like Mrs. Meyers like multi-purpose spray and that leaves it super streaky so I don't know if it's just like the kind of stainless steel we have or what but yeah I definitely need to get that done today I have a toddler and a dog with a little wet nose and I feel like there's just always grossness all over the stainless steel so I definitely wanted to get that done today noticed right in the beginning of editing this video that I definitely have a hole in the back of my little capri pant things <laughs> I feel like there's so many butt shots in this video and I'm like oh my gosh really so note to self don't wear these again they're just my like everyday loungy pants and there's definitely a hole right there so enjoy you guys <laughs> you are 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 the solution things I wanted to get done this day was to vacuum and mop my living room hallway kitchen area. It definitely doesn't get mopped enough but I have found that since buying the cordless vacuum I, it's a shark. Um, I got it a couple days after Christmas and as you guys have probably seen in my videos we do have a German Shepherd and I find myself now that she's getting older especially here in Wisconsin when she starts shedding after winter and everything the amount of hair is just like astronomical so I found that with this cordless vacuum I vacuum just about almost every day if not every other day um, but I definitely don't mop enough so because my son wasn't here I wanted to get the mopping done because he really likes to try to help and bless his heart I really appreciate the help but you know how that goes. Sometimes you just want to get stuff done. <laughs> so yeah, the, one of the last things I end up doing here is just uh, vacuuming and mopping and where my dog's food is, where I'm cleaning right here. It was real nasty. Like I never realized how disgusting it was back there and it definitely needed to get done. So I went ahead and took a magic eraser to that. And I have found that magic erasers are quite the handy cleaning tool. I use it for my shower, the glass on my shower to get all the nastiness off. I use it in my sink. I use it to clean my walls. Basically everything. Magic erasers are just life really. But <laughs> yeah. So um, here you're just going to go ahead and see me vacuum and mop. Mm -hmm. 
everything. Wiped that down, went through Finley's toys, got rid of broken ones. These are like the toys he usually plays with out here. Made, I didn't show this part, but I did do the couch and I had a ton of donated stuff and all of that that I packed into boxes. I'm going to be shipping out to some friends of Finley's, Finley's clothes, I should say. I mopped, you guys saw me mop and vacuum over there. I did all of this too, but it gets a little tedious when I show everything. Um, you guys saw me clean the kitchen. I just started making dinner. So, and if you guys don't watch my what's for dinner, you should. <laughs> but yeah, I wiped this down. Let me turn that down. I wiped this down, cleaned the bowls, swapped, or I mean vacuumed and mopped. And you guys saw me do Finley's room as well. But yeah, that is everything, guys. I. I'm not, I did wipe down the, that's the bathroom right there. I did wipe that down, but I hop on this way. <laughs> um, I did wipe down that bathroom, but the toilet's been acting funky, like getting clogged a lot. And we barely ever use that toilet. So I'm gonna call maintenance for that tomorrow. But I didn't wanna show that cause I mean, the toilet's broken, so I can't really clean it. But I just wiped down the mirror and the vanity. That was basically it, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random clean with me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. I'll see you guys next time.